So the Bitcoin blockchain, which is a specific blockchain, cannot exist without Bitcoin. It's a open source, permissionless system where anybody can go download a full node and participate in the consensus, which means we agree that the ledger and compete for those Bitcoin that Nathaniel was talking about that are created, right? Um, and it's native to that. It's embedded in there, right? It, 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 it's inexorably linked into how the system operates, right? Um, you brought up a very interesting word, and, and you used it again and again, and it's trust, right? So we're, we live in a world of third-party trust, and Bitcoin is a trustless world. So we remove the concept of third-party trust, right? Everyone shares in the information at what we call at state, right? There is no third party that we look to and say, what is the truth? So I would say when you talk about the future of money, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll say it again, the Fed um, doesn't even get audited. Would the Fed ever go into a distributed ledger and complete transparency and share state with everyone who has a, has a dollar? I would say not. Um, so if the future of, of legal tender is to be truly digitized, the Fed has to create digital money, right? That's the only way we get there.